So let's look at a fourth example of a recursive algorithm that could be described with a recurrence relationship and try to get its time complexity. So we have here binary search. What is binary search? It's to uh, search a sorted list and make use of the fact that the list is sorted. So for example, if we had a list of numbers uh, ordered in an ascending uh, fashion, then what you would do if you were looking for a particular element in that list, you would divide the list in two and then compare your element to the mid element. And if your element turns out to be larger than the mid element, then that means uh, the element you're looking for is in that list, in the higher order of the list. So you would discard the lower order and then just take whatever half is left of it. Keep on doing and then call your binary search algorithm again. Keep on doing this and effectively you'd be uh, splitting every time the list by two and then discarding one half of it until you find your last element, which is the one you're looking for. So, uh, how many steps are involved in such an algorithm? First, there's the constant step. So, every time what we're doing is we're computing that mid element. So, there's a constant step involved. And then there is a call to the same algorithm, so that t function, but this time with half the number of elements. So, n over 2. Now, if you expanded this recurrence relationship uh, using backward uh, substitution, you would notice that you would end up with a bunch of c's that are added plus t of n over n. t of n over n is t of 1, of course, and that's the base case. It will be a constant because you've basically you only have one element and you're looking for one element. So it would be either it's there or not. It's one constant. And then, then we have a bunch of c's. How many c's do we have? Um, we're going to have as many number of c's as we can divide that number n by 2 before reaching 1. And um, that, the, the number of times you could actually divide a number n by 2 is log n base 2. So this is the expanded version of our recurrence relationship and our binary search we find out is big O of log n base 2. Um, then we have recursive power. If you remember the trick was to use the fact that x to the 8 for example is x to the 4 times x to the 4. So you would compute that and then multiply it by whatever result you, you computed. So instead of doing 8 multiplications, you would just do 4. And then actually this 4 could also be expanded to x to the 2 times x to the 2 and so on and so forth. So this gives us a recurrence relationship. Uh, sorry, a recurrence relationship, but it's a recursive algorithm. And um, the number of multiplications, because in this, in this case we're going to have to use an inequality for a recurrence relationship and not a equality like we had here, because um, if we have, for example, an odd number, x to the 9, then the, the multiplications involved will be um, x to the 4, x to the 4 times x. So there are actually two multiplications here. Whereas in the even case, we had only one multiplication. So um, that's not a problem for us. We're just going to uh, have an upper and a lower bound. The upper bound would be that it's an odd. So n is odd. If n is odd, then basically we're going to say that it's the constant number of steps, so the, the two multiplications in this case, plus calling that same recursive function again, but this time with half, 4. So this is integer division, so 9 divided by 2 would give you 4, so you'd call back the same hand. Or it could be it's larger than, it's always going to be larger than, in the even case, it's going to be larger than one multiplication, this is a single step, however long it is, that multiplication we're just going to represent it with one constant c1, and a call back to the same function, but this time with the um, argument divided by 2, so 4 here. And uh, this again is dependent on the number of times we could m divide a number by 2, and just as we saw in the binary search, this is going to be log n base 2.